Hi guys, Digital Demon here again, and welcome back to Until Dawn. Uh, in the last episode, um, I was briefly torn away just for a moment, but I am back now, and uh, we will continue with the rest of the game. So, we have just had a snowball fight with Mike, uh, proving we are more funny than we are romantic. But we shall see what happens from there. So, we're back to Mr. Stormare. Hello again. Yep, so this is going to be a regular thing through the game. And how are we feeling? I don't know. Um, depends if you're going to show me any more confusing pictures. We made some good progress in our last session. Yeah. But I'm grown concerned about your situation. You're in my head, aren't you? We're talking about stuff in this my head. I think he's in my head. We're going to try I to think this is where we're setting up the horror the story. Side. And then we're actually playing it through, making I'll the relationships with the characters during the cinematics. Pages. That's what I think is happening in this game. It's very clever. Symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. The most anxious? <sighs> right, okay. Uh, men worry me, women worry. Well, neither make me anxious. Uh, I don't know, women? Oh, ah, that's clever. Change the page with that. It's very clever. Uh, planes scare me. Crowds scare me. Uh, it's not so much the planes, but it heights definitely. I'm not a fan of them. This is where you're getting an insight into my uh, inner demons, aren't you? So, is it? And didn't work. I fear heights, I fear drowning. Uh, I fear heights more than I fear drowning. So is there going to be lots of high places in this? Snakes scare me, rats scare me. Uh, we don't have snakes so much in England. Um, and I've never seen one in the wild. <laughs> That's because most of them in this country are in captivity. Or as pets. Rats we do have, so I guess rats scare me. They're more of a threat to be bitten by a rat, but again, people have pet rats. And I'd rather someone have a pet rat than a pet snake. But once a mouse did bite uh, my finger and not let go. Uh, guns are scary, knives are scary. Well, I sword fight, so I don't find knives scary. I suppose guns. Okay. Uh, rats or cockroaches? I've only encountered a cockroach once, and that's when I went to New York. We got into the hotel room, and there was just a big cockroach there, in the, just sort of sat there. It's not any real threat, but it was, oh, I didn't like, just opening the door, and it was more startled, and there was just a massive cockroach in the hotel. So, uh, we'll go with cockroaches. Horrible little things. Like I say, people have pet rats. And they're cute. Clowns or scarecrows? Neither. Uh, I know some people have a genuine phobia of clowns. I'm not one of those people. And scarecrows? No, not really. Um, although there's the scarecrow link to the original picture they showed me. I don't know. Scarecrow's my favourite Batman villain, so we'll go with scarecrows. I prefer the Scarecrow to the Joker. Uh, gore disgusts me, crows are scary. Crows never really bother me. So I guess gore disgusts me. I've never been a fan of gore, like overly gory films. Oh. Did that startle you? So yeah, a little sorry. bit. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. You're talking about anxieties and then you do that to heighten my anxieties. Try to. There's the metronome from the title the sequence. So that represents him, clearly. The more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay, they're going to be timed now. Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, spiders or cockroaches? Fake cock... Spiders are creepy. I like spider films. Spiders in real life... Mm. Some of them, not, not, not so nice, but I don't fear them. But they say, it's, it's that creepy, not fear. Uh, I fear needles, gore disgusts me. I 
No, I don't fear needles, so I guess gold disgusts me. Oh, he's not even paying attention, so it's, they're not timed. Uh, zombies scare me, I fear scarecrows. Neither. Uh, although I am prepared for the zombie apocalypse, so I suppose that is an element of fear. I am prepared, so zombies scare me. Don't always outrun them. If they can run, they are not zombies. Go discuss me, I fear dogs. That's not a dog, that's a wolf. And if that was barreling towards me at full speed, it'd be a little intimidating, so okay. Uh, dogs or storms? I love storms. Absolutely love storms. So I guess that's to be dogs again. I don't fear dogs. I like dogs. I like animals of all sorts. This is very interesting. If a wolf was like that, with that look in their eye towards Thank me. You for answering so diligently. You're welcome. Spiders. Yeah. Zombies. And dogs. Doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Spiders, zombies, and dogs. Zombie uh, dogs? Uh, Are we entering Resident well, I'm Evil? Afraid. Once I do again, like a zombie film, time, I have to uh, say. I don't like the Resident Evil universe. films, but I love the Resident Evil games. Well, up to four. So that's it. So. Have I set about now, because before I was going down the sort of psychological... Previously, on Until Dawn. Don't you guys think this is a little oh, bit... Oh, like a catch -up thing. On. She deserves it. Hannah! Oh, if we're going to do this, I might do full episodes What's up until that on? point then. Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No, it's a nice little rundown anyway. There's Machete Man with his flamethrower. And his post to the vision. He didn't kill them. That's making it look like he killed them. He didn't kill them. He tried to pick them up and stop them from falling to their death. Whether that was for another purpose, I don't know. But that was the case. Quality time with each and every one of you, and just share some moments that we'll never forget. We're meeting up again a year later to celebrate the sisters. sisters and look after Josh. I need to go find Sam. Yeah, you're a lying and cheating person, Bitch. and that is a big no-no for me. So I got moved to the back, and next to I feel Josh, sorry for self how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. What you were talking about wasn't the butterfly, Chris, but he is clearly the killer. Out of all the characters we've met. Man, I feel like Two, jealousy. Nine hours until it. dawn. Oh, yeah? That feels the same to me. Oh, hello. Josh. Hannah and Beth's brother. Complex, thoughtful, and loving. Well, he's going to be complex now, isn't he? He's going to be really messed up. So he's loving and thoughtful. So he's got, he's got everyone's best interests at heart. Come on, he you looks familiar. This. Probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. I'm guessing I've seen the actor in something, but I can't quite place it. We need to some cell towers up here. I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys. Get up here, okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. Oh. What's up with him? Selfie stick has the mood on. Right, okay, there's uh, Machete Man, because we know he's around. Presumably it's Machete Man. Is he going to now unleash a zombie apocalypse? Yo, yo, yo! We need things It'd be cool if this suddenly became a zombie yeah, game. Man. It's like, um. Uh. Gossip or worry. Worry. Would he worry? Would Chris worry? He is his friend. He likes Josh as much as he likes Ashley. Honest, funny, charitable. He's charitable, so yeah, he's gonna worry. Worry about his friend. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time. You know, like we always used to. Damn it! Poor kid. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? Break into your own house? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. <laughs> um. <laughs> Say that any more creepily? Coaches. Not if I don't report you. Yeah, it's like uh, there's a film, Cabin in the Woods, um, hey, Ash. Hi, where they kind of all have bets as to what 
evil. Um, we have a crush. We're going to be confident. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Curled up with each other, eh? Mmm. No, Cabin in the Woods there where... I don't want to re reveal too much, but there's like a, um, a betting pool about which... What sort of horror film it's going to become? I'll leave Actually, it at that. But it's it's very there, good. Right? It's very good film. It's well worth a watch. Oh, what's that? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know. And I just want to rip that oh, Parker Ashley. right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Put it out, man. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you look uncomfortable, but yeah, we're confident around Ashley. No. Absolutely. When are you gonna take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude. Look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've you laid seem all the a bit too excited about You've the prospect of Chris and Ashley getting together. Now, you come in for the kill! Meh. You're excitable, but uh, sure, why not? Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, I got it. Jeez. Okay. Status update. So I'm not going to check every status update that there is, lodge, but um, some of them I might have a look and see what uh, what has just happened. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Mm. Oh shoot! Nobody likes cool buns. No, but you can warm them up. Oh, there's an axe. I'll grab the axe. That might be useful. Is there an axe? Was just an axe, axe-shaped hole in the dust. Yeah, there is a missing axe. There's an axe murder on the loose. Uh, there's another thing there. That's clearly what we use to get to the window. But what's what's up here? So let's have a look. Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. Uh, I just didn't turn off my GPS. Oh, I remember. Finally, like wall. outside, where I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone talk? What? Why? It's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I can do all this stuff. And... Well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge? Yeah, it's well, called well, Moving Well, that. we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. My idea that it could be, like, sort of scream scenario. Sorry if I'm... I'm spo I just have to call these videos spoiler alert for all horror films ever. But is it going to be a case where we've got two villains that are part of it? Something I mentioned earlier. And if it's going to be any of it, it's going to be these two. So far. I'm not sure if we've met everyone yet. I think Mike's... Is that that same oh, snowboard? I'm okay! I think Mike's an idiot, but more he's not the killer class. material. But these two... You mean Jim? Certainly Chris. Yeah, you know, Chris, the climbing up the rope. I think it's going to be... Whoa. Did I do that? I don't think so. Here, use this. The bad guy. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh, yeah, now I Make gotcha. Flamethrower. Flame thrower. Just like we do with the Lormy dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, frozen lock. Bingo. Too hot to touch. All right, so you got this. I'm going to go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. You're going to go and God sort something out. Telegram. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, flashy, flashy. Is that a totem? That's a totem. So what have we got this time? That is... I don't know. Lost 
totem. So that was a girl screaming. The um, fluffy coat looks a little bit like Emily's. So, can she risk getting herself blown up at some point? Is that is that a thing? That could be a thing. So, well, just in general, beware of explosions. That that's a good rule for life, really. Okay, so what horrible thing's going to jump out at me? Any more flashy flashies in here? We'll have a look around and see. Yeah, so they are borrowing a lot from uh, horror film, more snowboards. Horror film stereotypes, and I don't know if they're going to subvert many of them, but uh, it's very, very interesting. This is very maze-like. There's flashing over there. Oh no, it's not a way to go that way. So uh, we'll go this way first, then we'll go back and have a look huh. at the other way. So it's cool. family portrait. Uh, so okay, we've got Hannah, Beth, the parents, and Josh at the end there. Okay. Hang on, this looks like it's going to another area. We'll just check, just in ca uh, go back in case that other door was a cupboard or something. This is the fast walking. It's pretty much the same speed. There it is, and there's fast. Or is it just a cupboard? Oh, but there is a flashy flashy in there. What's that? Ex janitor convicted so for us. Uh, swears revenge on movie mogul's family by Charlie Scott, chief reporter. Victor Milgram, which is the guy um, that was missing. 52 was yesterday sentenced to 16 years in prison for aggravated, uh, aggravated arson committed on Blackwood Pines. Milgram was employed as a janitor of the Mountain's Old Hotel for 28 years. However, when Hollywood producer Bob Washington acquired the property, Milgram was fired. In a sensational twist, the sentencing ended with the enraged Milgram screaming obscenities at Washington's heavily pregnant wife, Melinda, calling her an effing whore. He vowed to get all of you and your effing husband and kids. So she was pregnant as well. So is there another child that's not in the picture? It's possible. Uh, and said he would make them suffer. Melinda had visibly struggled to maintain composure throughout the case and later claimed that though she was upset by Milgram's threats, she had full faith in the legal system to keep her and her family safe. So, okay, thoughts here. This Victor Milgram, they are setting him up to be the obvious subs uh, suspect. And we are made to believe the guy with the th flamethrower who tried to pick up Beth and Hannah that he is Victor Milgram. Now he might be. He might be Victor Milgram. I don't think he wanted Hannah and Beth to fall to their death. But if it is him... What? What the hell was that? I don't know. There was a noise. Oh, and some sort of skull on the... Uh, but yeah, if it is him wanted to make them suffer and wreak their revenge, he could have wanted to pull them up so he could torture them. That is a thing. That is a possibility. So he might be Victor Milgram. Milgram. Oh. Here, whispering and chattering. Oh, is that just them at the door? I haven't got the thing yet, so... Uh, let's see, anything else? No. So we'll carry on. We'll go forward. And that was glass breaking. 
Oh, flash it over there. What's that? Oh, it's the TV. Yeah, the TV's not going to come on if there's no power. So, okay. Dust sheets on everything. I suppose it makes sense if you're gonna if you're in a place and you're gonna be away from it for such a long time, dust sheets do make sense. But the careful thing is to when you take the stuff off, not to shift all the dust around. So we are now in the dining room. Probably where we'll encounter our first zombie if Resident Evil is anything to go by. Tree was that flashy? There's a flashy there. It's the phone, but there's no power. One new oh, there's phone on. There's power to the phone. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. Okay, that okay. clearly is talking about Victor Milgram. Now question, where are the parents? Are they alive? Are they dead? And if she was pregnant, do they have another another child? If they have another child, I'm prepared to reevaluate and say that it is not any of these and it is this other child. It just depends on let's see, they were talking the whole instant with Victor Milgram. I mean, it could it could mean one of the either the twins or the brother, but it was about twenty odd years ago. Yeah, okay, it's possible. Prom night photo. So we've got Hannah with her butterfly tattoo. We've got Sam, Mike, and is that Emily? Yeah. And that's 2013. So I'm guessing this is set in 2015, 2016, possibly even 2014. So another thing there to interact with. Oh no, it's just that again. No, nope, don't need that. Okay, so I think I saw a flashy over here, did I? No? Yes, on the door. On the locked door. Okay. So I guess we're going upstairs. I don't think I've missed anything, not yet. Probably have, probably missed loads. Let's have a quick sweep actually around, Let's just have a, another look down. It's, so I don't think I went round the back here. The camera changing angles is uh, a little disconcerting. Oh yes, I did. This is just for all the dust sheets. Well, I don't know. It's a different, different amount of dust sheets. Come on, so obviously not the killer. We need to find something else. What was that over there? Was that anything? No. Okay. Uh, I call it dust particles. Okay, so I had a quick route round. There was nothing much of interest. There'll be more to the to the cabin, I'm sure. I can't really call it a cabin, it's massive. Uh, let's go... Let's go right first, because it clearly wants us to go left. Book chase. Uh, anything this way? Nothing much, no. There's still lots of whispering and things. Is that them outside? Or is it just setting up the atmosphere? This lighting is brilliant. The, the sort of use of lighting, the shadows. I suppose I should be moving the light about much more, but it's done very well. Dialogue, not so much, but the, the actual game, the gameplay mechanics seem brilliant. Just my kind of thing. So there's an open window here. We're banging and clashing around. Can we close that? No, it seems not. Okay, so what's over here? Anything? Just a little open space. 
more corridor. Okay, that's just the end of the balcony up there, so I'll have a quick look just to the end of the balcony. I thought that was going into another room. Anything? Oh, yep, yeah, what's this? Is it a movie award? Yep. Yeah. Winner, best horror film, 2009. Director Bob Washington in The Blood Monastery. Okay, so that's where the, the money comes from, the successful filmmakers who made the best horror film. So, which means he's going to have a lot of filmmaking effects and things. Maybe. I'm, I'm not seen any evidence of that yet, though. What's this? Hmm. Oh. Oh, an open door. What's in the open door? That's rattling. Oh, we're in the bathroom now. Right, so it's a flashy down there. This is... Why is there a sofa in the bathroom? Question. I said I saw a swimming pool in that. It looked very much like that bath. I just thought it was too big to be a bath. Someone in the cable car station got a camera stashed in here. Stashed through the house. Okay, well anyway. Uh, it's got flashy down here, so let's have a look at this. Okay, yeah, open the door. And uh, that's the deodorant. Okay, we'll get that. Get the fuck! Was that a raccoon or something? That, I, I, I didn't find that as startling as I think they wanted it to be. We're freezing our buns off out here! I, I don't think this would work. Not properly. I suppose it might heat the lock, and I have had it been a victim of a frozen lock before. I actually went thank to you, a job interview. Thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. There's a thing. <laughs> That's a tail. It's a raccoon. Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Tiger. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby. Don't worry, buddy. You're going to be a big boy soon. But yeah, I went to a job interview. And it was it was freezing outside, and got to the got to the place, and I actually had to phone the place I had the interview, oh, saying home. I couldn't turn up. Well, could I rearrange it later? Because oh my, my car so lock had frozen inside. so much, I couldn't lock you know, my car. Kind of well, I couldn't actually leave it. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out. N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. Right, so we're in. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Oh, here we go. Is that gonna be a scene? At home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. Oh, self stick Don't want be mad. Right? Well, do be mad. But Whoa. How am I gonna there, play cowboy? this? Warn. Stay away. I challenge. I'll just warn him. Stay away. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily. Why would I want anything to do with Emily? We don't know the full details, so... Quit being a dick. Forget it. Now, have some in peace. We don't know the full details. They could have just right. been supporting the friend, but I don't think so. Right. Is something going on with you, man? Forget it. I lost my head. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. Don't you be telling me what to do. Poor man's Nathan Drake. Speaking of which, we haven't seen Emily. Where is she? There she is. Oh my god, that is so gross. Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I and mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? <laughs> Sounds like someone's bitter. She didn't make it. Okay, that's yeah. redeemed all the all bad dialogue. Big cattle call with that all of that. Boat. Congrats, you're top your cow. Your sluttiness was too loud. Real calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Uh, chill out, Emily. Provoke. Uh, it's not provoking, but it is uncalled for, so that's uncalled for, Jess. 
Hey, you're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncalled. Look, whatever. I don't give a oh, crap. Oh, he hasn't got much confidence. At least I can't think. 4.0 bitch. Well, on a roll. Suck stick. on that when oh, you're trying I, I, to sleep I your might way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got but... all the natural advantages uh, you can handle? Anyone who actually oh, uses one deserves a all that they get. You can buy a with your skanky ass. I apologize, Are you serious? Do you, you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. I'm going to stop. Uh, I didn't actually hear that. Um... Let's have a look. Oh, oh charge pull's gone down a bit. Um, opinion of. Whoa! We do not like Mike at all, and uh, Jess went down a bit as well. Opinion of Emily went up, interestingly. Is that because we're supporting her? Are we supposed to be honest? We are being honest, but I don't know why that's gone down a bit. Charitable's. Um, he's a romantic, so okay. Let's continue to support Emily. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No, you're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. So Are much we about for it to not being awkward. Because I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for 10 minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Oh, this is a guest cabin, so Why they're going to be that? in separate places. Any place so. without that whore. Woo! It, it's right up the trail. <sighs> so they're going off. They're getting yeah, segregated over. from the group. They're going to die first. Just a guess. So, Josh, uh... But we are trying to keep them alive. I know it's possible to keep Where's everyone alive in this game. Huh? My bag. The the little bag with the pink pattern. The one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian oh, shoe place like where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean... She was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my he's bag? He's got no confidence at all, but he thinks he's all that. Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come hmm. on, hon. We'll be back soon. <sighs> and then we can get warm? You can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. So they're going another way. So the whole don't split up in horror films, everyone's splitting okay, up. I'm gonna go take a bath. Where someone can see it, presumably the killer. Okay. <sighs> Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, these two annoy me. I, I actually hope How these are the first two to get in danger. Cabin, anyway. I'm going to try and keep them alive, but... He's the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay around. I like Sam. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. That's about it. <laughs> Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. You're going to need these. Porn stars? These are a bit messed up. To see but... Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I think Chris I'm is made sure up to be like to entertain but yourself. Mm -hmm. I still think he might be. You have fun with the killer. peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Got to fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Spooky. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You think well, everyone's flirting with, with you? I'm guessing. Wait, really? What? No. Okay, I'm now back in control. I am going to call this an episode here, guys. I am the Digital Demon. This is Until Dawn. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Catch you later.